Hey guys, so I am doing a review. Um, this is the first time I did a review like this for the um, like a build a figure, a WWE Elite figure. Um, I've reviewed WWE Elite figures before, but uh, <clears throat> I never got a build a figure way. Um, so this one is uh, Jimmy Hart. So just shows you a picture there of what he is supposed to look like. Um, there's only four, so I'm used to like Marvel Legends where you have like five, six, maybe even seven figures you have to get, but this one's just four. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to review these individually and then at the end, you know, put the build a figure together and review that as well. Um, <clears throat> so we got Big E, um, sorry, Dakota Kai, not familiar with that character, I haven't watched a bunch of WWE recently. Um, got Yokozuna, who's a, you know, WWE legend, rest in peace, and Earthquake, which I think had passed away as well. Um, so yeah. So, probably want to start with the torso, which is... Probably her. <clears throat> no, that's the legs. Um, right, I'll figure it out. <laughs> There it is. Okay. So I'll probably start with Earthquake, get rid of the Kodaka, and then I think Diggy and Yakuzuna are like the um, arms and legs. So, alrighty. Um, so I'm going to open one up and get started. Alrighty. So I got Earthquake out of the package, and uh, I forgot to kind of go over the package and bring him first. Um, so we've got a uh, picture of Earthquake here. This is a good thing. Um, this packaging I thought was a little tricky to open. I was trying to find out like the best way to do it without, I guess, going through the bottom. I'm going to try that next, but I went through the side and you can kind of see like it was, <clears throat> I don't know, I may have damaged the package a little bit, but it can still pop into place. Okay, but I guess I'm going to try something different because I'm used to the packaging being a little different WWE figures. Um, but on the back, we've got a pretty cool picture of him. So he was 6'7", 468 pounds. Didn't realize he was that big. Didn't realize he was from Canada either. Um, he's kind of like an old school wrestler. Um, it's like your <clears throat> toss bomb being the 1990 World Rumble. So probably 80s, maybe late 80s, early 90s. There was like Ultimate Warrior and all that. Um, so here's the figure itself. And that's a pretty big figure. Um, as I open these, you'll kind of see a comparison. Honestly, I think Yokozuna and Big E are pretty big too. But I mean, you know, this the body kind of reminds me of uh, Andre the Giant. Like I'd reviewed probably about a year ago. Uh, me and Louise were reviewed uh, Andre the Giant, the one that came with the ring. And this reminds me of like the, kind of that sculpting size. Um, I love the legs are just huge. I mean, like this thing... It stands, it's there, you know. <laughs> it ain't going nowhere, so that's really cool. Um, do have a waist swivel, have like a crunch. His head is like, there is nothing you can do here. Like it doesn't move. It just kinda, <clears throat> I don't know. God, I'm afraid to kinda move it because it's just got so much resistance to it. Um, I don't know. But on the chest, we've got the Maple Leaf logo, the Canadian flag. Um, the elbows are double jointed. I did something a little weird. It's like, I know this with the arms, like they kind of have this extra back bend to it or something. I don't know, like where it comes like that. And there's this weird gap there. <clears throat> the other arms look kind of like that too. I feel like when it's fully extended, it should be not quite that much. Um, so on this left arm, we got the bear tattoo. Um, got the flag again on his boots. So that's about it. Um, got some light chest here. Here is not light. Mm, kind of feels a little not quite as smooth as the rest of his body. Face sculpt was great. Like, I love that. They did a good job with the hair. Kind of like has like a thinning hair up top. And this is grown out. So this is kind of like a, a sculpt. Um, and 
goes in really well. It's like they put it all together so it's not a gap or anything. The only thing you can see is just kind of like a gap here. So, um, <clears throat> there's the back side. Pretty simple. Um, the hair does have like kind of like a movement to it. God, it's bugging me about that. I guess you really can't move his head. Um, he does have two alternate hands. So he comes with fisted, fisted hands, and now he's got these gripping hands as alternates. So there's that. Um, <clears throat> I'll put one on so you can just kind of see the difference there. So there's his fisted hand, and there's his gripping hand. So he wants to grab something. Sure can. So, um,. Yeah, I like this figure. I mean, it's good. I'll probably just do the fist and hands because it just looks more menacing with it, I guess. Um, it does come with uh, Jimmy Hart's torso. So, we're getting that and the little flat belt and the piano key tie. And then his jacket, which is pretty soft and poseable. So, yeah, looking forward to seeing what that looks like. So,. Next one, we'll work on the leg, so at least get his body standing. So, that'll be the next figure. Alright, so the next one I did was the Dakota Sky because she comes with the legs. Um, so, that's all the pieces she has. Um, <clears throat> I was going to go through the bottom of this package, but I realized when you go through the bottom, there's no like nothing to like kind of pop it back into place on like the side here so and this I don't have either this is all kind of one piece but um I guess I get a picture of her and on the side as well on the back <clears throat> this thing is fairly new um character so this says 2020 the captain of the team kit became the first Kiwa since the Bushwhackers and the Royal Rumble. Not sure what that means. <clears throat> uh, from New Zealand, five foot six. And whoever wrote this was a gentleman because they didn't put her weight there. Um, so, uh, this figure is just okay to me. I kind of mess with it a little bit. Um, there's like a ooh, earthquake. <clears throat> I don't know what happens if he falls over. <laughs> Where I fall, we'll how far we'll feel it. It's got a bad ankle here, and there's like a huge gap right there. <clears throat> so, just got a knee brace here. It looks like she should have had an ankle brace to go with it. I mean, you can see that's real bad. Um, and her leg kind of goes, I don't know. Like the joints make the legs kind of go like a bow. Um, ooh. Yeah, those joints need to work out real good. Um, the cap's off too, like it's, it's like a gap here, gap there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, <clears throat> the sculpt's okay. I mean, I don't know who this is really, but like, I don't know. The, the color's off, like the hand and the wrist, like that's totally, totally different shades. The whole sleeve's been painted on. Looks like it's been a lot of messes there. Um, there's like paint stuff here. Head moves around pretty good. I mean, the facial expression looks really good. Like they did a good job with that, and the hair looks great. Um, it's got this kind of diaphragm swivel and white swivels. The only thing is, is like whenever it goes extended, it leaves a huge gap. So, um, and you can tell they try to paint in there just to kind of let it flow a little better, but. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so out of the package, she's got like this hang loose symbol, I guess. I don't know what that means. And a left fist. And then she's got two gripping hands. So, and she's kind of hard to stand. Like you have to, if you can see, like I've got her right foot back a little bit in this one forward. So her right foot back, left one forward. Just to kind of get her standing. She does okay there, but, um, Got two gripping hands. I'm gonna check one of them just to see what 
Oh, they look about the same, so I don't think I'll blend it on any better. Yeah, it's about the same. It's just like this slightly different tone. The face even looks like it too. Like even compared to like the chest, like you can kind of see like the body is like a lighter tone than this. Um, yeah, this figure is just okay to me. Not very impressed, but anyways. We can put the legs on Mr. Jimmy Hart. Goes in real well. Um, you can kind of see how he's going to be. So he's going to be taller than her. Definitely not taller than Earthquake. Um, I'm not really sure how tall Jimmy Hart is. Especially his legs kind of go out. There's a gap here, but. I mean, he's not going to be someone who's going to be highly articulated or anything. It's just, you know. I'm going to hold off on the gap until we get the arms. So I guess the arms will probably be the next thing. I guess someone comes with the arms, then someone comes with the head and might, might make a phone. So, um, so yeah, this one's really good. This one's just okay. All right, on to the next one. All right, so the next one was Big E because he comes with the arms. Um, so basically I'm saying the best for last for the one I was the most excited about and I was really looking for you because the most out of this package. Um, <clears throat> so the Big E package has the smile face here, same picture on the side, on the back. Um, so he's 5'11", 285. He is a big dude. I know he wasn't that tall, but yeah. And so this is something about Royal Rumble. Um, Kind of lingo. Don't you dare be sour. I clap for the longest reign tag champ and feel the power. So, um, so one thing that kind of got me though was like it shows the ring attire. See on the back, it shows like kind of where this outfit came from. Um, he didn't have this cape thing. It's got the outfit and everything, but not that. So that's a little disappointing. Um, so I think this is when Xavier Woods. Um, Taurus Achilles or something like that. So there's pictures of Xavier Woods there. Um, I don't know. <laughs> like the face is just kind of, mm, I don't know. Like I wish it was a more better expression, I guess. I don't know. Um, the outfit looks really good. I mean, the detail is great. Um, I know this part must have been hard to do because they were trying to like get his face to go with that and they kind of printed his face up to his inside of his thigh joint. Um, and it's not quite right. Like you just, I don't know, like if you hold it like that, it's like, oh, okay. So, <clears throat> um, paint is okay. It looks like it kind of didn't quite come all the way down his hair. Um, What's a little strange is this hair is like, oh, there's like a mold for the hair there. You, know, you can kind of feel it, but nothing's painted. So it's kind of like this, I don't know, blotch or whatever. So the hand goes in pretty good. This hand is so loose. Um, has single joint elbows, but I kind of get it because he's got massive arms. And Big E, they don't call him Big E for nothing. He's huge. He has gigantic arms and gigantic pecs. Which I think they did a good job here, because, I don't know, you have to watch them, but, like, I mean, it's, it's huge. Um, got a good app crunch. Um, did a good job here. I'm not sure where XV, oh, Xavier Woods, okay. God, I'm an idiot. Um, did pretty good there. Like, I think this one was a hard one to pull out, because if they're doing, like, the outfit, you know, you have to, like, Get the articulation right, but you have to like kind of get this on there too. Um, huge legs too. I mean, like, I think they this may be a unique sculpt. I don't know, like, I'm really impressed with the sculpt how it just kind of portrays Big E's size. Um, there's a little darkness here, and you can kind of tell it's weird, like, the skin tone kind of changes, like, his hand matches his arms. Though when he compares arms and his head to his back, it's just not quite right. I don't know. 
Oh, this looks more shinier. This is more of a matte finish. Um, the head doesn't have a whole lot of articulation, just kind of nods. <clears throat> um, it's not really a neck, so, and I guess it's just like in place of jogging the shoulders, so. Um, double joint in the knees, so okay. Um, yeah, I mean, this is solid. It's like Earthquake the best so far, but I like Big E. Um, kind of makes me want to get the rest of the new day. Um, I'm going to take these off to show you one of the gripping hands. So like the other ones, you just got like, um, you know, some kind of hand expression. Then you got gripping hands, so he's grabbed someone or something like that. It looks more better, I guess. Um, looks better, not more better. Um, so they're both the same. So this is what that one looks like too. But honestly, I'll probably just do something like this when we want to pose them. So, something that matches his expression a little better, you know, just... Like he's posing, got a good smile on his face. I wish it was kind of leaned up so I could get his head to like. But yeah, there's no leaning it back, so... Uh, pretty good. And with Jimmy Hart, we get... The jacket. Well, not the jacket, but the arms. <clears throat> For Jimmy Hart from Big E. So they're pink arms. I always like they did this because they did like the jacket separate and did arms. I like that color. I think it works really well. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get this stuff. Like right on top of this phone. There we go. That's a good snap. This one didn't snap too good. I don't know, maybe it's just the way it is. Um, <laughs> the headless, headless heart. <laughs> it's very good an idea of like what he looks like. Um, so it comes with like two gripping hands just right out. And then he's got two pointer hands too. So I imagine one's going to be holding the megaphone, the other one's going to be holding, um, you know, pointing at something. I don't know, I'll figure that when I get him. Um, I'm not sure how tall Jimmy Hart supposed to be. Like, an Earthquake's supposed to be like 6'7. And then Big E's 5'11, so Jimmy Hart's probably a little bit taller than him. And maybe 6'2 ish. But compared to these two, you can definitely tell a height difference. Obviously, when we get the head out, we'll know more. But, anyways, on to the last one, which is Yoko Zuna. Alright, so I got Yokozuna in the package. So, the first thing I'm going to do is just go over the packaging real quick. Get the mints and look at the Yokozuna. Same thing on the back. Um, or on the side. On the back, we've got um, Land of the Rising Sun. So, Japan. 6'4", 589 pounds. I didn't realize how big he was. Like, I'm 6'2", and I'm like half that. And God, I can't imagine. Um, so you can set a new world record, new record 93 by eliminating seven superstars in the way to win the Royal Rumble match. Um, so yeah. So, off the bat, I was like really impressed with this figure, and then I wasn't. Um, like the face is great. I like it. Um, same issue with the other ones though. The skin tone doesn't match. This seems a little, face a little lighter than the other one. Um... Arms, ooh, shoulders are tight. God, that would be real easy with that uh, break. Um, arms look good, you know, good, solid, modest bicep. Um, with the hair, there's this weird thing going on here, like this part of the hair is, it looks like a different sculpt from this part here. It's like someone painted in black right there, I don't know. Um, and something really weird, I noticed, well, you can see the gap here, there's like that white kind of tan, same thing here, but you can obviously, the skin tone here is just too differently colored, I mean, that was just lazy, I don't know, like, why didn't they just paint the whole thing white? Another thing, too, is the peg show, and these are white on both sides, but this one is tan on both sides. And this one kind of sticks out a little bit too. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like pokes out a little bit. 
Um, this is like a, so this bell is hard. This one's hard too. Um, God, there's like white that got sprayed over here too. Um, there's some paint there, tan paint. <clears throat> the feet look good. Um, phew, God, those ankles are real tight. I mean, from far off, this looks great, but like when the closer you get to it, the more you mess with it, it's just bad. I like that they got the big butt, though. That was cool. So, I mean, there's some good here. All the things is the butt kind of overlaps here. It looks like a, almost like when you're looking at a Ninja Turtle. Like if his legs together, you can kind of see it. It's like he's got a shell on his butt, but this is butt. So, you might want to put them in the back of the display. So, you know, that doesn't show as bad, but that's my advice. Um, let's see. And then we got this, so you can carry that. And this is kind of like a soft plastic. Looks like it just popped in. Um, so that's pretty cool. So you can kind of hold that like that. And then he has two gripping hands. So if you wanted him to, you could just switch it out. Okay, and then it holds it right there like that. And then we got the fist like that too, so they can be done. Um, so the pieces it comes with is Jimmy Hart's head, which looks really cool like that. I don't know. Um, there's little gaps here for the sunglasses, so this will go on. So there it goes. And then here's his megaphone here. Alright, so anyways, I'm going to put him together and finish this up. Alright, so I got Jimmy Hart out and kind of got a pose for him. Um... So far, this is the best figure that I think of all wave. I mean, it's the build figure, so I guess it should be. <laughs> um, so basically, I just took a grip and hand, put the megaphone there. Um, hey, looks really good. Um, there is a little bit here of like different color paint, but um, hey, it works really good. Um, I like these little gaps in here for the sunglasses. So when you put it on, I don't know if I got that right. So you can see that kind of goes in. So you know it's gonna stay. Um, sunglasses look good. Spray on looks really good. And then you get the jacket and the bow tie and everything. Um, ain't really much you can do for this. I mean, they could have maybe made this little overlap a little bit so it doesn't show the black, but it's not bad. Um, the hand kind of comes out, you know, there's, you can't really see the joint or anything, but like, you know, it's just kind of like a flat point. Um, like little kind of moves up and down, so you can kind of adjust that if you want to. Looks like it sits best right there. Um, yeah, the pants look really good. I mean, overall, this is an excellent figure. So basically you get like two of each hands um, so there's the right gripping hand that we go here, and then the left, I'm sorry, right pointer hand that we go here. So, um, so you can do it either way you want to. The megaphone looks great. Um, has like the hearts on it halfway through. It's painted all the way around. Um, so yeah, looks really, really good. Um, definitely impressed with that figure. Um... I mean, overall, this wave's, if I give it as a wave, like, I mean, they're all, like, 22, 23 a piece, so after tax, it's close to 100 bucks, and then you get this figure. Um, 
is it worth it? It really depends how bad do you want this figure, you know? So, um, I'm not sure there's like an elite figure of Jimmy Hart that's as good as this or comparable. You know, he's about the same size as one of those would be. So, um, let's see. So, yeah, it's only supposed to be 6'4", I think. So, I guess Jimmy Hart's, yeah, about 6'2". Let me look that up again. Yeah. So, I mean, the... The height's really well. So I think she's like 5'6". Ekazunas. I think he's 5'11". So you can see Jimmy Hart's a little bit taller, but not quite as tall as your Kazuna. And then Alec Quakes was 6'7". So, um, so there is the complete wave. And that's probably the thumbnail there. Um, I mean, overall, I'd give it an 8 because it was worth it to me have this figure. Um, I like the Yogazuna probably the best. I don't know. He was my favorite, but he was still flawed. The Earthquake's probably the most flawed figure. This one, you know, the skin tones really are off with this one, so that was probably my least favorite. And then Big E's probably next, and then Jimmy Hart's probably, you know, the best of the way of like, not individual figures. So I have a kind of pick. This is obviously number one. I guess this will be number two just because I like Yokozuna so much. Three, four, and five. So, um, I mean, this figure is excellent. I really like it. Um, yeah. As a build a figure, um, I like it. You know, like, I mean, I'm used to Marvel Legends where you do like a build a figure wave and it's like something gigantic. You know, like, I'm thinking Fin Fang Fin or Galactus back in the day or something like that. But, like, you know, if you got something smaller, I like that they just narrow it down to four figures. Um, one thing that gets me, though, is I kind of wish they had put four figures that more relate to him. You know, like, if you're going to do a bit of fit array, you know, do some, like, you know, like these two, but, like, maybe with these two, do something a little different. You know, more, you know, Hall of Fame kind of retired wrestlers. I think that would have worked better. But, um, anyways, um, that's it for the review. You know, let me know what you think in the comments.